guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today to share a Rice Krispie Treats recipe. Now, the recipe that comes on the box of Rice Krispies is absolutely fine, but I've figured out a way to step it, step it up a notch. Um, I have added extra butter and extra marshmallows, and it is going to be extra yummy. So this recipe is something that you can do with your kids or just by yourself uh, during this time when we are um, self-isolating. And the ingredients that are used are things that most people typically have in their pantry. So you are going to need some crispy rice cereal. Um, it doesn't have to be Rice Krispies. Any cereal will work. The generic is absolutely fine. And you're also going to need a 16 ounce package of marshmallows. And what I did was I took out one cup from that. You're gonna reserve it and set it to the side. And then you are also going to need one stick of unsalted butter. And then for your pan, I am using an eight by 11 and a half inch pan. And what I've done is um, put aluminum foil in it and then I have greased the aluminum foil with butter. You can't see it very well, but I've, um, I'm using this because it's much easier to lift out your Rice Krispie Treats when you're done and then cut them up. So um, we are going to move over to the stove and I'm going to show you how to do this quick and easy recipe. All right, so in a large pot over a medium high heat, I'm gonna actually turn it down a little bit. Um, I have my one stick of unsalted butter in here. As you can see, it's just kind of melting down. And I am using a wooden spoon. I would not use metal, um, but you can also use like a heavy plastic because this is gonna get really thick and you want something that's gonna be sturdy enough for you to to work with. So now I'm going to put in my package of 16 ounce, my 16 ounce package of marshmallows. And like I said, I did reserve a cup, oops, a cup of them and set them to the side. Now I think the heat may have gotten to my marshmallows a little bit because they stuck together a little bit. It's kind of humid here. And so all you're going to do is just kind of let this melt down. So it should take a few minutes. Okay, so my marshmallows and butter have melted. I have taken the pot off of the heat and I have it on another burner. And what I'm gonna do now is add in my eight cups of Rice Krispie Treats. So you do need to move pretty quickly with this because once it uh, pulls off, it'll be almost impossible to get everything all combined. Okay. So I have all of my Rice Krispies in there and I'm just moving fast to get it all mixed up. So everything is almost combined and now what you're gonna do is add in that one cup of marshmallows that you had reserved. It's gonna add some extra gooey and yumminess to these Rice Krispie Treats. And again, you're still working kind of fast and you're just gonna try to fold the marshmallows in. Okay, so I have everything combined in my pot and what I'm gonna do now to make spreading out this mixture a lot easier is um, butter my hands with the wrapper that I used for the butter. Of course, you don't have to. You can get a fresh pat of butter if you'd like or you can use cooking spray, but I'm just trying to use what I have. So I have my hands lightly buttered with that butter and then I am just going to dump it over into the pan and you're gonna work pretty quickly and just pat it down the best that you can. Now, like I said, I'm using an eight by 11 and a half pan. Of course, if you use a nine by nine or an eight by eight, um, it's gonna be a lot thicker. Or if you choose to use, um, if you choose to, to use like a nine by nine and a half 
a nine by 13 and a half inch pan, if I could talk, then of course your Rice Krispie treats are gonna be a lot thinner. But to me, this is a perfect consistency and just go ahead with your buttered hands, just go ahead and pull off that yumminess from your wooden spoon. And it is a little warm, but it's not unbearable. Just pull off as much as you can. If you don't get all the Rice Krispie mixed, all the Rice Krispies mixed in, that's okay too. And as you can see, I'm just working as fast as I can and I'm just patting this down, patting it down. It smells so good, guys. Just pat, 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 pat. And you're gonna let these cool for about an hour or more until they are completely cool. And I'm just making sure that they're spread to all the corners. And you may be wondering what makes this different than the traditional Rice Krispie recipe. And the difference is, is we're using more butter. So um, it makes it buttery. And we're also using a lot more marshmallows. And as you can see, we're also using some whole marshmallows in there too. So everything's not um, melted. So I think I have it pressed in there as good as I can get it. Also, once you have everything combined and you're adding in that cup of marshmallows, if you wanted to add in chocolate chips, you could do that. If you wanted to add in mini M&Ms, you could do that. I've also made Rice Krispie treats with peanut butter. So when you melt your marshmallows and your butter together, some, I sometimes add in a half a cup of peanut butter and have peanut butter Rice Krispie treats. So there are so many variations. All right, so there it is. It's all patted into my pan. I'm gonna let this cool for about an hour at least or until it's completely cool. And then I will come back and show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so here are the Rice Krispie Treats. I let them cool for about an hour in the pan and then I just pulled them right out of the pan um, in the foil, put them on a cutting board and I cut them up. As you can see, they are pretty thick. So let me show you the texture. So here it is, you can see the marshmallows throughout. And there you go. Here it is, nice and gooey. So what I will say is that if you want a really firm Rice Krispie treat like this one, which is what I prefer, definitely use the eight cups of crispy rice cereal. If you want it a little bit less firm than that, use about seven and a half. If you want a really chewy, malleable Rice Krispie treat, use six cups of Rice Krispies instead of the eight cups. So it really depends on how much cereal you use. Don't change anything else, meaning use the same amount of butter, use the same amount of marshmallows, just use less cereal. But again, I like a firmer Rice Krispie treat and that's what I have here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I hope that you'll do so and we'll see you guys next time.